All right, back in the kitchen now with Chef Ken Hall, who was here earlier. Private chef would be happy to cook for you and your family or, or cater your event. Uh, but we deboned a chicken, which was so cool. I can't wait to try and tackle it on my own. Made it look <laughs> so easy, so I might have to watch the video a few, few times. Um, but now we're to the point where uh, we're roasting the rest of the, the chicken for another meal. Right. Um, but we've got two boneless, skinless, or two, two boneless chicken breasts is what I should say, which is my family's right. favorite. You know. Right, and, and you can do it two ways. So what I've done is this one I've cut in half. Um, I've removed the skin. So okay. this would be, uh, this is a butcher's cut, which is called an airline breast. Okay. That leaves the drumstick on. Okay. So a lot of restaurants, you're going to find your chicken breast this way because it presents itself mm -hmm. better. It stands up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now this you would just season, saute the skin side down first, flip it, and then usually I finish my chicken in the oven. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. Leave it right in the pan. My pans are made to go in and out of the oven. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have the plastic handle. If you have a plastic handle, of course, put it in a baking dish and throw it in the oven. Or cover um, the handle with foil. That or works cover. Too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You need a, there we go. The easiest yeah. way to do this is you can just pull this skin right okay. off. And you can just cut right down there. Okay. And then we cut this in half. So we're making a, basically a chicken scallopini. Nice, exactly. thin uh, pieces of chicken that will cook up very quickly with just back for back to school. Got to get it on the dinner table quickly. Right, um, and that's the good thing about having your own chicken is the fact that you can um, you can do what you want with it. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to make this real simple, real basic. A little salt, a little pepper. Want oil in the pan over here? Oil in the pan. Olive oil. And then if you want to... Uh, I got tongs right here. Okay. So we're going to start this scallopini. We're going to start that in a hot pan. Okay. And then what I've got in the pot over there is I've got some orzo. And what we're going to do with that orzo is once our chicken starts to brown just a little bit. These on both sides? Yep. And now that it's cooking, what I like to do is I like to add just a couple of pats of butter in here. Oh, yeah. With the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do is I want to kind of cook the mushrooms again. You know, use same pan. Make it quick um, because these won't take very long. You can probably even flip them now. They're almost there. We'll give it a second. The cool thing about deboning your own chicken is you were saying that you've, you've got a family of five. I've got a family of four. That one chicken, you can get two completely new meals, no leftovers even. So Two complete plus the start of a third by using the carcass. You know, So you've mm -hmm. got the skeleton to make soup with. So we could roast the, the thighs and the drummies. Uh, or the you know the thighs and the wings for the first meal, right? Or and the and legs, right? Okay. Well, what I do is I'll take the legs and I'll put those in the in the oven and roast them off okay. while I'm working with everything else. Okay. Then I cook the brass and like I said, we did it into four. Now we're going to have some mushrooms, throw a little onion, some orzo, and then a pesto over the top. Mm. That's a nice meal with a mm. salad. Then so we've these got are the just legs. These are half breasts even. And These are half. Plenty for one per person. You know? Exactly. And then you've got the legs that you can bring out, and then you can do any kind of chicken casserole that you sure. would like a chicken pasta, chicken and rice, whatever, right. because then you've got that nice dark meat of the chicken. Then you take the, the bones and you throw those in with all of the trimming from your vegetables because you're always peeling your vegetables. You cut the ends off of your carrots and your celery and things along that line. So you always have extra. So throw that into your soup pot and get that nice broth going and then if you have any little extra tidbits you throw even a frozen bag of vegetables in there, shred some chicken and some noodles and you've got yourself a beautiful mm. meal again. So really three meals out of one chicken. Which, right. Uh, talk about saving money and getting back to the basics. Love that. Alright so our onion, Just or a little bit onion. In there. our mushrooms are looking really good. Chicken's yep. looking great and boy does it you know, by splitting those breasts in half, cooks in no oh, time. Oh, it just cooks real super quick. Now I'm going to reach across to here and grab the orzo. Now orzo is just a form of pasta, and it kind of looks like a teardrop shape. Mm -hmm. Now what I did here was I cooked this in chicken broth. You can cook it in a lot of, of water like you would your normal pasta. What I like with the orzo is it cooks in about nine minutes al dente. And I cook it right in chicken broth, so it has a good flavor. And then I've got just a little bit of homemade pesto here. Mm. This is actually basil that I grew in the garden and some sunflower seeds. Mm. And I want to toss this with my orzo just to give a little bit oh, of flavor to the orzo. So good. And then what we'll do 
is we'll put a little bit of this orzo on the on the plate like so and then we're going to take those chicken out because these are done smells so good we're going to put our chicken here now if you wanted to you could deglaze the pan with a little wine but you really don't need to because now we've got some nice mushrooms on the top and then I'm going to take just a little more of the pesto and just kind of do a ribbon of the pesto going around and now all of a sudden you have a very simple basic meal to make but how you present it makes it even more special. And all the stuff that we used are, you know, dirt cheap ingredients. We a chicken, a whole chicken for about five bucks, got a couple different meals out of it. The orzo, I mean, pasta is cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, that's something I always, you know, try and keep a basic pantry with Oh, you always want to keep your dry goods because, mm -hmm. <clears throat> excuse me, they never spoil. Yeah. Is. So, and, and to get all different kinds of pastas mm -hmm. that they have on the market now, mm -hmm. when we were growing up, it was spaghetti and fettuccine. Right. And now all of a sudden they got the the fusilli which is the little corkscrew and then they've got the little orachettis that look and, and the list goes on yeah. and on and on so and you they're can all just cheap too oh, they used exactly. to be when you'd get the the more fancy pasta it they was were five times the price right. now Not, they're the same yeah, price exactly. and so you can have some fun so this is a very basic meal to do with chicken some herbs from the garden and some mushrooms oh i love it ken that looks absolutely fantastic now if you don't uh, think that you can pull this off chef ken will be happy to cook these type of meals for your family he can come to your house cook a few meals have them in the fridge or freezer for you to reheat too which is really nice so uh, great to see you ken well thanks, thanks so for much. having